Let's talk about audio to MIDI. This is one of my favorite techniques to repurpose audio tracks, samples, and convert them to MIDI. It's a really cool technique because number one, you can work fast and you can also be creative. So let me play you what uh, I've drawn up. Well, let's say this was a full fledged out production and I was trying to take that melody and perhaps I'm on a deadline or I can't figure it out. So I'm gonna use the audio to MIDI function in Logic in order to find another purpose, perhaps layer. So how do we do that? Well, we wanna open up Flex Time. You can do so by hitting the icon up here or just go ahead and hit Command F. And then you wanna make sure that that's enabled. Now in order to get to the actual audio to MIDI function, you have to open up the audio track editor and then under edit, this is where you'll find create MIDI tracks from flex pitch data. Bear in mind, you will not be able to access this data unless you are in flex pitch. If you are in any of the other flex time algorithms, this will not work. So once again, I'll go back to edit, create MIDI tracks from flex pitch data. Logic will then go ahead and analyze the file and here is what we got as a result of. Let's check it out. Hmm, so while you can see it's somewhat on, definitely some low end information that does not need to be there. If you wanna select a note that's on a given lane, if you just select that particular pitch in the piano roll, you can see that you'll select them all at the same time. Hit delete, let's see what we have here. So that's okay too, but obviously it's not great. Let me show you another way that is flawless. If I take that same information from track number 26 and I run Melodyne through it, you'll find that this program is superior when it comes to editing, tuning pitch. It's an incredible, incredible program. So if I just hit transfer here, and I run that same part. Okay, so you can see that it's all just one note. So in this particular case, because this is very percussive, Melodyne got confused. And so it thinks this is a, a drum part or perhaps a, a percussion part. So I'm gonna change the algorithm from percussive to melodic. So then Melodyne will re-detect, it'll find the proper notes, and then we have this. Now what's great about this is you can start playing with the notes to fit your song or just creatively express yourself. But for now, I'm gonna go to settings and I'm going to save as MIDI and we'll call this ARP synth. I'll send it to the desktop so I can pull it right back in. When you drag in a MIDI note, Logic's just gonna use a stock plugin, a piano, in order to show you what you're playing. So let's check out what I have. So this is pretty great. The only thing that's kind of missing is just the velocities are a bit off. So I can hit Command A and then Command 9 will go to Functions MIDI Transform. And now I want to fix the velocity so they're all more or less the same. Let's start at 100. Since they're all selected, I'm only gonna hit Operate. So it seems like bar two is perfect and bar three as well. 
you get the idea. I'm not going to go in here and edit it, but it's it's pretty much there. So then, rather than choosing the piano, let's find something a little bit more interesting. Here are some of my favorite plugins for hip hop. And let me look for some plucks. Let's start at the top here. Okay, these are sounding pretty nice. Check it out. I'm going to move this up an octave. where that Melodyne can do a whole lot more than that, but I just wanted to show you this amazing technique to repurpose loops that you may have. This is a world of possibilities here. I do hope you take advantage of it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.